Question 39. Find the equation of the plane that bisects the angle between the planes 3x minus 6y plus 2z plus 5 equal to 0 and 4x minus 12y plus 3z equal to 3 which contains the origin. Um, is this the plane that bi bisects the obtuse angle? So equation of the plane that bisects the angle between the planes which contains the origin is the question. So for that we will proceed and just like the previous questions so first we make sure that uh, the equations of the plane have positive constants like 2z plus 5 equal to 0 let this be this has to be positive so otherwise we will multiply throughout by negative 1 and make this positive this term so that is the first step so here if you see if you bring the 3 to the other side it becomes minus 3 so we multiply throughout by minus 1 minus 4x plus 12y minus 3z plus 3 equal to 0 so our second equation so so the plane which contains the uh, so plane which contains the origin is given by the equation equation of the bisector plane that bisects the angle which contain origin given by uh, a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square equal to positive a2x plus d2y plus d2 by root of uh, a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square this is the case if d1 and d2 are positive so if you are wondering why d1 and d2 has to be positive i have discussed that detail uh, in uh, while discussing the concepts that are connected to this question you can find that video in my channel itself please check that out so here uh, our a1 a1 uh, b1 c1 are direction ratios of the normal the 3 minus 2, 6 2 and minus 4 12 and minus 3 so we will use this to write this equation so 3x minus 6y so just just the same equation so 5 by root of 3 square 9 6 minus 6 square 36 plus 2 square 4 so is equal to a2x minus 4x plus 12y minus 3z plus 3 by 4 square is 16 12 square is 144 3 square is 9 you see uh, this is 49 root of 49 is 7 and this is um, 25 169 which is root of 13 so we will just bring everything to we will just simplify the solution 13 into 3x minus 6y plus 2z plus 5 7 into minus 4x plus 12z 3 so further simplifying we get 13 into 3 is 39 39 plus 28 so 59 plus 8 uh, 67 so we get 67 x and 13 minus 6 uh, 13 into minus 6 is uh, 70 minus 78 minus 8 and here it is 84 84 70 so 78 plus 84 So one eight one sixty two one sixty two minus one sixty two y and thirteen into two is twenty six 
seven into three is minus twenty one. So bringing this positive twenty one. So uh, twenty six plus twenty one. That is forty uh, seven. So plus forty seven. Sorry. That um and thirteen into five plus seven into three is twenty one. So sixty five minus twenty one. Forty four. Plus forty four equal to. So this is our required equation. The equation that contains the, the equation of the bisector plane that bisects the angle which contains origin. Now we have to check whether is this a plane that bisects the obtuse angle or acute angle. So for that we will use this uh, three minus six two. So we'll just so for that we just need to check whether cos theta is greater than zero. Uh, cos theta is angle between the normals of the plane. Which we get by checking a one a two plus b one b two plus c one c two c one c two. So here we get a one a two is three into minus four. So I'll just down three minus minus twelve minus three. Apply we get three into Minus four plus minus six equal plus two in. So if you see every term is negative, this will be less than zero. So therefore, uh, origin lies in the acute angle. We get uh, this equation is not the bisect. Uh, so basically, the origin lies in the acute angle, and this is the equation uh, which contains the origin. So this is the equation of the bisector plane that cu uh, that cuts the uh, acute angle of those plane. So just a brief explanation what we did here. Suppose this is our planes. Uh, suppose this is our planes, and this is origin. We just drop normals to these planes, and Form a quadrilateral like this. Let this be alpha and this be theta. So this is 90 degree. So sum of these will be 180 degree. And we check whether this alpha is ac uh, acute or obtuse. Here, when we check cos theta is greater than zero, we we are effectively checking whether this angle is acute or obtuse. In when when we got cos theta is less than zero, cos theta is less than zero when this theta is uh, obtuse angle. So we got this angle as obtuse. Then theta will be acute. That is what we did here. So this is the basic idea. So we got origin lies in the acute angle, and this is the equation of the bisector plane that cuts the acute angle. So these are the steps. So this is the solution to question 39. If you have any doubt, please refer the concept video. Fourth concept video connected to the plane. The concepts are discussed in detail in that video, and you will have a better understanding of the concept discussed concepts used to solve this question. Yeah. Thank you.